Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry I missed you last week, but I'm back again this week for our weekly devotion and prayer. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week. Happy midday. I'm sorry. Happy. <laughs> um, happy middle of the week. So, um, <clears throat> my devotion today is entitled Rolling with Life, and it is coming out of Jeremiah 29, 11, and also I'm going to do a scripture from Proverbs 3, verse 5. So, I'm going to open up with the word of prayer, and then we're going to go from there. Heavenly Father, thank you for getting us all on our day today. And God, I thank you for peace of mind. Thank you for our sanity, Lord. Thank you for protection. Thank you for providing. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for the wisdom that you give us, Lord. Thank you for the love that you give us each and every day, Lord. Lord, thank you for allowing me to come back again today to do my devotion and prayer with everyone, Lord. Lord, I just pray that all goes well throughout the rest of the day. But Father, sustain us and keep us in perfect peace. And I ask that you please give us wisdom in your word. Help us to learn, help us to understand, and help us to receive your word. Help us to receive you. Open our hearts, Father God, and help us to apply all the knowledge and wisdom that you have given us, Lord. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Rolling with life. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And that's in Jeremiah 29, 11. One true constant in life is change. Don't you love it when life settles into a pattern so you can think, okay, this is what my life is going to be like. However, almost before that silent sentence is out, something changes, something big. How many times have you seen your life or someone else's change in just a split second? An accident? A diagnosis or someone else's choice changes everything. While changes can be disconcerting or even upsetting, they do not have to mean the end of relationships, careers, friendships, or families. They only mean that things have changed. You have to roll with the punches, adjust, and accept. How do you do that? Don't forget that God is in the process. Remember that even in the midst of changes that come so regularly, the only real constant is that God does not change. He is in control. He loves you. He has a plan. So go with the flow and hang on to God for the journey. A bend in the road is not the end of the road unless you fail to make the turn. So we know in life. So basically, we know in life, things change. That's why it's so important to never get comfortable to what's going on in your life. Because we know in an instant, things can change. I know everyone has heard the word, um, um, what is it? Uh, tomorrow's not promised. Because it's not promised. I mean, one day we can wake up and in the next we're gone. Um, life is just too short. You know, never get accustomed to the way things are going on in life. Don't get, don't settle, don't get used to it because things always change. But when things start to change, go with the flow. But always know that God is always there in the process to help you. God knows all. He sees all. He knows everything that's happening before it even happens. 
So trust God in the process and trust that he will lead you and he will guide you because God has already equipped you with everything that you need to go through whatever it is that you have that you go through in life. Through the good times, through the bad times, God is there and he's giving you all that you need to adjust and get through whatever changes. I know you also hear, um, if it's not one thing, it's another. It's true. It's life. Things happen. Um, and it could be a it could be things that happen so much in one little day as you have, sometimes you may have heard of somebody just they've just had a bad day today because when they everything that just changes throughout the day is just so much that went on throughout that day and life changes like that just like the seasons just like the days um that's how life is it changes as we change you know um as we grow each day we become more knowledgeable we become, have we gain more wisdom um we grow as far as our hair our weight our height all these different things changes in life but always know throughout those changes Learn how to adjust to those changes and know that change is always come. Change is a must. It's only for your growth and for your, your spiritual growth and wisdom each day in life. But one thing is for sure that we can always count on is that God is always there in the process and he never changes. He remains the same each and every day. So even though people around us are changing, um, life is changing, um, we may be sick or death or whatever it is in our life that's changing. We always know that there's nothing different or nothing new with God because he remains the same each day. So go with that and know that through life, when things change, don't, don't worry or stress about the change because it's all a process in God's plan for you. Because he has a plan for each and every one of us. And sometimes that plan, sometimes it may hit us all at one time. And sometimes the plan can get uncomfortable. But no, it's needed. It's necessary for change. Sometimes we get too comfortable in situations in our life. Sometimes God has to shake up some things. And shaking up some things, <laughs> it can be tough. But it's only for your good. So believe that. So I want to leave you with Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Okay. So do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and shun evil. Just trust God in your daily process throughout each day because he understands, he cares, he knows. Cast all your cares upon him because he cares. He will see you throughout every journey in your life. Even though sometimes change may occur due to a situation that we put ourselves in. It happens, it's life, we make mistakes, so we alter change in our life and sometimes it may not feel good. But... God can get you back on course. Seek forgiveness. Repent. And God will lead you the rest of the way. He's always there. He's, he's not a God of second and third chances. That we say, I'll give you a second chance or I'll give you a third chance. No. God is not like that with us. God gives us more chances than we can even think of. So always remember, he doesn't just give second and third chances. He gives many chances. So always remember that whatever you get yourself into, it's not enough and it's not too deep and it's not too much for God to get you out of because God can handle it. He can fix it. Let him fix it because he is the fixer of all problems of all things. So as I said, trust in him with all your heart, okay? And do not lean onto your own understanding because it's so easy for us to lean onto our own understanding about things. Think we know what we know. Sometimes we have Mr. and Mrs. Know-it-alls. We don't know everything. <laughs> we may try to presume we know everything, but we don't. But I always remember that God has given us the Bible, his word, so that we can always go back to. So that we can always gain knowledge and wisdom and understanding in his word. So when we are lost out here and we don't understand certain things, he has equipped us with his word 
This is how we learn about God. This is how we draw closer to God through reading his word and then having conversations with God through prayer. God is always there, always. He said he would never leave you nor forsake you. And trust him in his word because it said trust in him with all your heart. So if his word says he will never leave you, trust that he will never leave you. Always think back to the things that God has always done for you. When you think about all the situations you've been in in your past and how God has always delivered you out of those situations, even things that you have gotten yourself into and things you knew you was wrong for and you shouldn't have done. But he always came to your rescue and he always saved you. So always remember that. Life is all about change. And when life changes, you go with it. You roll with the punches. But trust God that he will deliver you and he will walk with you and he will guide you every step of the way. So I love you all. Take that with you because I will take that with me also. Um, let that word resonate in your heart, in your mind. And just trust and believe that God loves you. And he's always with you. I'm going to leave you with a word of prayer. <sighs> Lord, um, many of us get discouraged. And sometimes we get troubled. God, when life changes, God, it, it can be uncomfortable. And sometimes we don't understand it. And sometimes we don't know what to do, God, when it changes. But, Lord, we know that as the seasons change, God, life change. Even sometimes we change. But God, when things get thrown at us, God, help us to trust you through that process and help us to walk with you daily, Lord. Because we know, God, when, when things change in our life and we'll, if we're not having a daily walk with you, sometimes we can lose our mind, God, and we can just be out of control. But Lord, at the sound of my voice, God, as, I, as I'm praying, Father, for myself and others, God, I'm asking you to help us to trust you with all our heart. And when things start to change in our life, God, we will trust you through the process. We will praise you. We will worship you. And we will draw close to you and know, God, that all this change is only for our spiritual growth and understanding and only to gain more wisdom and bring us closer to you, Father. So, Father, when things go the way we don't expect it to go, Father, help us to just lean on your word and help us to just go with it, Lord. But God, give us wisdom and give us strength to know what to do and how to handle the situations, God. But Father, help us to take life. Help us, help us to never take life for granted. Help us to remember that life is precious, God. And it's never promised each day. So help us to take it day by day and step by step. But help us to be grateful each day. And send those in our life, God, who will help us through that process, Father, who will encourage us and see us through all of this that we go through in this life. But one thing's for sure, God, help us to never forget, never, never give up on life. Help us to never give up on you, God, because you never gave up on us. So, God, we thank you so much. Just be with us, Lord, and just see us through the this journey called life as we begin a new thing in our life. God, you know the plans for us. God, you know everything that is necessary for us. So help us to trust that everything will work out, even in the hard times, Father, even in a change, God, it will all come together and we will understand it and we will see the clear picture throughout that change, Lord. So God, continue to work on our hearts, continue to work on our minds, help us to repent daily, help us to confess our sins, Father. Father, just reveal to us those things that we do wrong that's not right and help us to make it right. And Father, help us to show love to one another, Father. Help us to be encouraged, Father. And help us to um, get those relationships right that aren't right, Father. Restore those broken relationships, Father God. And help us, Father, to just make it right, God, because we just don't know when our last day is coming, Lord. So, Father, strengthen us in the way of your word, Father, and just show us the way. Give us wisdom and guide us. Bless us throughout the day and keep us safe. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. And let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. So um, everyone have a good day. And remember to um, hug someone today. Um, tell someone you love them today. And smile at someone today. Or give someone a kiss today. Because you never know, it may be their last. Or it may even be your last. 
but always remember that you can always make a difference in someone else's life, whether you believe it or not. You can always make a difference just by a hug or a smile or just telling someone you love them because it may be the only one they may get today. So everyone have a wonderful day. Be safe out there as you're traveling and be cautious. Um, just uh, love on one another. And I just pray that we are all ready when Jesus comes back for us. So as I pray for you all, I pray that you all are praying for me as well because we're not in this alone. We're all battling something each day. But as long as we have each other and we're standing in a gap for each other and we're praying for each other, we will make it in this world and we will make it and be able to see a better place because God has something better for us in store. But while we're here, let us Make the best out of it and get it right while we're here on this earth by loving each other and helping each other and encouraging each other and forgiving each other. That is the important thing, forgiving each other because God forgives us each day. So let us forgive one another also for whatever it is that we may have done. But um, love you all and you all have a wonderful day and... Uh, God willingly, I will talk with you all next week.